what's going on guys so i know it's been a while but you know things happen life happens took a break did some stuff and i'm finally back making videos so i'm excited for that and before i start talking in this video i want to let you guys know to please subscribe turn on your notifications so that you don't miss an upload and if you did enjoy this video if you do enjoy this video to leave a like and that would make such a big difference in helping this channel grow so if you would i would greatly appreciate it if you did so okay so now that that's out of the way established it i haven't talked in a while i know that but i want to talk about game three of the finals specifically not even just game three to be honest but just Giannis and what he's been doing in these finals and how historic it is because i feel like people are acknowledging how big it is the stuff that he's doing but i don't think that we really get the scope or the historical context of what he's doing and just how historic it is because you know 42 then 41 in back-to-back -back games 40 point games that's something that we do not see in finals games and rarely ever to be honest but for for Giannis to do it and the only people to do it are like LeBron and Shaq the, you know having 40 points and 10 rebounds in back-to-back -back games only Shaq did that like this is crazy stuff that we're seeing from Giannis and and it's been tough to I think a lot of the you know lack of appreciation for it is because a lot of the right rightfully so criticism that he gets especially during this playoff series these playoffs in general he's gotten a lot of criticism for how he's operated in certain games and just i mean even in these finals are a good example of you know even how great he has been he's had some moments where it's just like okay what is he doing and there's a lot of questions about his game right because you know mainstream media and first take i mean kendrick perkins i mean look ESPN and First Take, they're all trash anyway, but First Take, I mean, specifically Kendrick Perkins was talking about how Chris Middleton is actually the Batman on this team, and not Giannis. You know, Giannis is more of a Robin than a Batman, right? Which, first of all, doesn't make any sense in the context of Batman, if you watch it, right? And second of all, you know, it's just a, it's just a hot take. It's not really anything that's grounded it with any substance. It doesn't have any layer of truth to it. There's really not a case that you can make for it. It's just something to say to get people to, to react. I mean, that's what ESPN does and that's what that show is anyway. So, you know, credit to Kendrick Perkins for doing his job. But still, I mean, it's just it's not even like grounded in any kind of reality or by any kind of like data or whatever you want to you want, whatever you want to interpret it. Right. He's doing incredible things. Like incredible things in these finals and you know yeah has he been questionable in these in these playoffs yes is he taking shots that he shouldn't be taking yeah like why is he taking threes why is he shooting in the mid-range when it's not his game why can't he make free throws at the level that he is supposed to why is he airballing free throws just like Shaq does like in an often rate you know those are quite valid criticisms to have right but I feel like when he's on he's on and it's just it, I feel like people just kind of lessen just how dominant he is because of the constant criticism that we see from him for him right a lot of, about the shooting and the free throws and the I don't know just th like that that's probably the main thing right like I don't know why the criticism there gets so much of the heat when we see what he does in these games even in the two games that they lost at in Phoenix he was doing incredible things. I mean, that game two was probably the one where I was like, oh my God, he is amazing. He is doing literally everything for this team and no one else is helping him out. That's, you know, the perfect example of why Giannis is so great, you know, and why he is already an all time great at the age of, I think he's only 26, right? Like you look at his accolades and he is already one of the greatest of all time and just in terms of like your accolades right he's already a hall of famer first ballot you know he has two mvps he's a defensive player of the year all nba all-star all-star game mvp international success all of that stuff all he's missing is a championship and a finals mvp whether he gets it this year i don't know you know i don't know if he's gonna get it this year he could he couldn't you know i think that game three with how great he was and the team in general that's going to make the series more interesting you know he struggled on the road he's playing well at home so far we'll see how he does in game four but yeah 
regardless of how this series ends up, whether the Bucks win the title or not, Giannis deserves a lot of credit for just how incredible of a run he's had in these playoffs and specifically in these finals, the things he's doing, right? Like, I mean, just when you're in the category of things that Shaq did, like when it's only you and Shaq, that's like a good testament of just how crazy it is what you're doing. Like not normal, you know what I mean? Like 40 point games back to back, 40 and 10 back to back games in the finals. Only Shaq did that before, and now Giannis is in that category. Uh, someone made a good point on ESPN. I don't remember who it was. Not on ESPN. Sorry, on Twitter. And they were like, if Giannis started to understand that he's more of a Shaq than he is a Kobe, that's when he's at his best. Because if you watch his game, he has the Mamba mentality spirit kind of thing, right? But if you want to go off of just his game in general, he's more of a Shaq than he is a Kobe, right? Because Kobe did everything he could. He was more of a perimeter guy, obviously, right? A great scorer, one of the greatest of all time. But Shaq was... The reason why Shaq was so great was because of just how dominant he was when he was inside. When he was, you know, posting up, or when he was, like, five feet from the basket, there was nobody that could stop him, regardless of size. You know what I mean? And Giannis showed that threat in Game 3. He was so aggressive going to the basket. He was out-rebounding everybody. Even the guy who was bigger than him, DeAndre Ayton, Giannis got him in foul trouble, you know? And then it led to DeAndre Ayton, you know, barely playing in crucial minutes. That's what, you know, a dominant big is supposed to do. I don't qualify Giannis as a big man, but if you're going just off of size alone, then yeah, he's a big man. But that's his game. That's where he is at his best. And... You know, the game, you know, game three was a perfect example of that because he was going to the basket. He was aggressive. He was drawing contact a lot, finishing, out rebounding, all of that stuff. And for a lot of it, he was making his free throws, too. I think he only missed, what, two or three free throws out of like 17. That's impressive for Giannis, you know, for a guy who's been getting a lot of flack for his free throw shooting and for his lack of confidence shooting at the free throw line, you know. Everywhere he's gone in these playoffs, from Brook starting in Brooklyn, the one-two-three chance from the crowd, right from the from the road crowd, doing the one-two-three-four, counting the ten. You know he had two ten-second violations. He's airball multiple free throws. But hey, last night he was good. He missed only two or three free throws out of seventeen. That's impressive for Giannis. So, with all of the things that I've said. I think the biggest like takeaway I just wanted to do in this video, why I kind of wanted to like make this a video, is just I want people to like appreciate Giannis more. I really do, right? Like everyone knows he's one of the best in this game right now, right? He's won two MVPs. He's a defensive player of the year. He won the All-Star Game MVP this season. He's already one of the greatest to ever do it at the age of 26, like a Hall of Fame resume, right? All he needs is a championship. And regardless, and even with all of that, that everyone acknowledges, he still doesn't get the proper appreciation in my view, right? And I think a lot of it is just watching him play, right? Like if you watched him play more and you watched why he was so dominant, the things he did that makes, that makes him so good, like in game three, like game three and game two were the perfect examples of why Giannis is, you know, a top five player in this game. You know what I mean? And why he won two MVPs. Why he was a defensive player of the year. I think that just people need to understand why he is where he is. Why he is so good. And I just, I just want appreciation, man. I hate when we see... I hate when like players who deserve appreciation don't get it rightfully. There's so many players in this game that are like that. And I feel like Giannis shouldn't be in that. Because he's such a... He's such a dominant figure in this game right now. So why isn't he getting the appreciation that he rightfully deserves? I hope that if the Bucks won the title, then he would get it. But I feel like even if they lost, you know, even if Phoenix won the title, I think he should still get some credit because if he continues to play like this, you know, if he's being as dominant as he has been in these two games, you know, he deserves a lot of credit. And people are going to remember th this run because even if they don't win, just because of just how dominant he was, you know, I just want people to appreciate him and his game because he's only 26. You know, he has a lot of time left in his career. So we're going to see a lot of him regardless of, 
what happens in these finals so yeah i just wanted to get that off my chest because you know watching Giannis in these past couple games in this finals it made me really appreciate him more and i really wanted people more people to appreciate him that's all it was you know so you know that's basically it we'll see what happens in these coming games but hey the bucks make it interesting we'll see if they can tie the series up if they do that will be very interesting but even if they don't you know i think it's fair to say that we have an interesting series now you know it's not going to be a sweep which is what i was hoping that wouldn't happen so that's good at least but yeah that's basically it thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy leave a like and comment down below what you think about you know this finals the series and Giannis's performance in general i'm curious to hear what you guys think so let me know and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss an upload and that's basically it thank you guys as always for your continued support and i will see you guys in the next one peace